Howdy guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we'll be looking at the swatch tape, but uh, let's start quickly with the intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. Uh, we do have a variety of different softwares we do cover, and also we upload content daily, so just keep our eye there for any new videos. Otherwise, we're back in the program here. Now, just a reminder for all of you that's new, uh, this is a mini-series on the user interface, so I will leave relevant links in the description so you can follow along. Otherwise, uh, cover it back to the swatch table. Now, this is a very handy tool to quickly um, select colors for your designs. We've got a few different color um, types as well indicated here, but uh, we will cover that now. Also, just a quick disclaimer, this is just a mini... Um, overview of the color of the swatch table we will go into more depth in future videos so i'll just be covering the basics to get you up and running with uh, this feature so uh, first of all if you've by accident closed this you can always go under view and then swatch table so once again if you want it back or if you wanted to remove it you go view and you navigate down till you get swatch table now we have it back here now, um, the, the default colors, which we can see on the right here, we have covered in another video. If you, you can change the default here. If you have nothing selected, let's say you want a red as your fill and then a blue as your stroke. Then you can keep controlling and you click on the blue. So normal left click on the fill and then uh, control plus click make change the stroke. Then... Uh, but what you can also do, which is quite nice. So, but in any case, with default now, if you make a new shape or anything like that, it will have these default colors in the bottom right. But what you can also do is if you select your shape, instead of going now to the full and stroke panel, navigating to the full, changing the color, then to the stroke, you can just do it straight from this uh, swatch table here. So let's say we want to change the um, inside to, let's say like a goldish green. Then uh, with it selected, you select on the goldish green it will change your full color now likewise if we want to change maybe the outline to something like black you can just keep controlling and click on that then um yeah because it's selected it's got a red outline to show it's selected but if we deselect that and zoom in you can see now we've got the goldish green plus black and then uh yeah that's uh, the easy way of navigating it like i mentioned there's many other options if you right click and so forth you also get color types so if you have these icons but it will cover most of the store but i'll just cover it quick like i had the little plus there that will be for spot colors and if you had two little round pluses or icons with pluses will be for the do color tones so um yeah but like i said we'll go into more depth in future videos otherwise that is the basics on the um, swatch table then if we head to softwaretraining.co.za uh, this video and more videos like this is available there. And like I mentioned, we've got a variety of different softwares to cover. You, we also have this nice little search feature here. So if you want to isolate your search, if you look for anything specific. Otherwise, if you still run dry, just go your requested training video. And then we'll make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.